hope everybody's doing really good this week. So this week, what's popping and dropping is a airplane pop-up card. So why don't we go ahead and head over to Design Space, and I'm going to show you all the pieces you'll get in this file. So I'll meet you over there. Okay, guys, here we are in Design Space. This is what the file will look something like when you um, open it up. Don't forget to go up and name and save your project. If you want to add any additional pieces, go ahead and do that. And if you like, we can go ahead and get our pieces cut out. And I'll meet you at the craft table and I'll show you how to put that together. I'll see you there. Now that we are back at the craft table, why don't we get our pretty pieces of paper out? This week, we're going to do uh, three pretty pieces of paper, two for the inside and then one for the back because we're going to do something different on the front of our card. So why don't we work our score line and go ahead and get these pieces glued on. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we have our two inside pieces on and our back piece on. For our front... I thought it would be fun if we create like a airplane window. So let's get all of those pieces out for that. So for this top ring we have here, we want to glue it on the back of our um, piece that looks like this. So we'll have this little white if i can get it together here rim like this so we can start making our front look like an airplane window so let's turn that over and glue that piece on i find easiest if we just make this little ring of glue all the way around the window piece here and as close as to the edge of the window as you can get because we really don't have a lot on this ring that hangs over so we're just going to try to center this and then i'm going to turn it over so i can see what's going on and that looks pretty good so i'm just going to go ahead and give that a good rub down and then we have our first little piece to our window done now our next pieces are these two rings and this guy here this is going to make it look like our window shade we can pull up and down when you're on an airplane. I'm going to glue mine pretty high to the top here because I want to be able to see out the majority of my window. And this is just um, a preference here. It doesn't have, you don't have to put yours up as high as mine. And that's why I've made it big because we can just cut off what we don't want to use depending on how much of your window you want open. So I think I'm good with about that. And what I'm doing is this piece is our back piece and it will go in our window like so. So I'm just seeing how much I wanna be able to see here. So once you have that figured out, what we can do is just glue these pieces on. So, I think what I'm going to do is pick this piece up and just glue from here to here. And then we can take this piece and then put glue all over the back of it and place it down on our other back piece like so. So this is what it's looking like. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on that and put it down. And this edge will line up on our bigger piece here. The two edges will meet. So you should have something looking like this now. And then this piece will go on the back like so. Like that. So we're going to put a little glue on the outside of this this white rim we already put on and then we're just going to try to center that so now we should have something looking like an airplane window now and i got a little glue here so i'm going to clean that up real quick there's a little handle to pull it down 
and then we're just going to start building up our background for our airplane window and these pieces should line up just like so on our little u piece here so let's go ahead and glue those pieces on so that's how it's looking and i'm going to go ahead and glue that piece on to the back so we have our card base done so what we can do is get out our airplane if we haven't put that together and let's go ahead and put it together and we can also get out our mechanism for the inside of our card so let's go ahead and get those things out okay so the first thing what i'm going to put on is my two little gray pieces that go up here on our airplane they'll sit something like that and let's go ahead and glue those on and then we have on top of our little section here this piece we have three little dots that's going to go on it to make it look like bolts so let's do those now these little black pieces they're going to go in on our seat just like that to make it look like we have seats so let's do that now that we have our seats on we can take this piece here and i did mine in just a little bit of a different shade of red and it's going to go just about like that to make it look like a wing so let's put that on now we can take our little wheel piece here and that's going to glue on this little section down here let's put that on and then we can put our little wheel the black part that goes in the center of this gray piece here and put that on and then our next piece there's a white circle that goes in the middle of that um, circle of this on the wheel so let's put that piece on and then our last two little pieces that go on is going to be this little um, wing piece back here and then our propeller that goes on top so let's go ahead and do those two pieces there we go we got our cute little airplane done now let's set um, him aside and let's work on our mechanism for our card so we have a line here in the center and that is going to be a mountain fold and then we have these two lines here that we need to work and on this score line we're going to work that one and that will end up being a mountain too So we should have something that ends up looking like this okay and for him you can place it anywhere in your card that you would like you just need to keep in mind you don't want your plane going outside of your card and i made this plane pretty large so i need to put it the cloud further up in my card without it going over so if we fold this in half and then line this up in our score line we need to make sure that this piece doesn't matter because it's not going to go outside of our card but we do need to make sure on the bigger section here that it's not going outside so you see how this is going outside of my card I need to scoot that down some and about right there works nicely so now we're going to take and put some glue on him just on that one tab and then fold our card to our mechanism and then we can turn it over leaving this side down and putting glue on that long tab not on the short one we don't want anything on it and then folding our card to our 
mechanism. And you definitely want to give this a second to dry. And then I'm opening mine up and then I'm going to give it a nice rub on these tabs here. All right, so for this part of our mechanism, we're going to work this long score line here. So once we have this work, like so, we can fold this piece over to the back and it should line up with your cloud on that side. We're going to put glue on these two long tabs and all down through here. And we need to place this section on our tab of that's just back behind our cloud. So once we get that glue on there, we're going to pop our piece on it and we'll bump it right up to the score line of this and then sandwich that piece all in there. So we should have something that ends up looking like this. And this is similar to our rocket that we made. I just kind of moved this tab in further so I can make our airplane a little bigger. And you want to make sure that you're sandwiching it in with the two tabs on top, these two tabs right here, because we're going to fold this section over. And this piece needs to be towards us when we fold it over. So let's put some glue on there and then put our tab in. We got our glue in there. Now I'm going to just sandwich this back tab here in between our clouds. And you just bump that up to the score line. So that's how it's looking. We have that sandwiched on that tab. Now what we're going to do is bring this piece forward. We'll put glue just down here on the bottom and then a little dot of glue on the back of this little triangle here. So a little glue here. And then just some down here at the bottom. Like that. So we have glue here and then glue on the back. And then like a paper clip, we're going to put it between our cloud. So this piece, the square will go in the back. This little triangle piece will come into the front. So I'm just kind of pushing it and sliding it over my cloud like so. Now when we go to close this for the first time, we might need to help our tall cloud down. So see how it's not going down. So I'm just going to give it a little push and then we're going to give this guy a nice rub and then when we open it up we have this beautiful clouds now to put your airplane on we're going to put a little glue right underneath our little rectangle section so right here somewhere and the only thing you want to do is just make sure your airplane is not going outside of your card this is how my airplane will be laying when the card is completely closed. So you could put it on your card like this. And then like if I have it here, that's going to be too far away to glue on my mechanism. So I can just push it down until it hits my mechanism. So right there it hits it. So I could go ahead and glue that onto the piece. I'm going to go ahead and make my back airplane and that's just so when it lifts up in our car we'll see a pretty side on it. That's just a preference. You don't have to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put together my uh, back airplane. So let's do that. All right so we have our back airplane done. Now we can get out our cute little 
animals if you're going to use the animals I created in here. I think these just are too darling. Look at those. I'm going to use the sloth and the elephant. And we just need to sandwich those in between our airplanes. So it doesn't really matter how far down you put them. It's just totally up to you. I only think I'm going to put him about right there. So we'll just put a little glue on him and then put him on and do the same for the other one. And then I also made um, a scarf so it looks like there's air flowing and some aviator goggles. If you want to put them on your little animals. And then we're just going to take this guy and sandwich them together like so so now when it opens we have we have the pretty side showing of the airplane too so i'm going to go ahead and glue that on so now that we have our plane done we can go ahead and put him um, on our mechanism and again you can either put it up here and fold this down each time or lay your airplane on the base of your card and figure out where you want it and then when this comes down on it that's where you will glue it to but before i put mine on i'm going to go ahead and finish decorating my card and then i'll be back to show you what i came up with i'll see you in just a sec okay guys to put this piece on um, if you're going to do the dark blue, you just fold the tabs back and then you straddle the um, piece over your score line here. And I'm putting it as close to the bottom as I can get so it doesn't interfere with my airplane. And then you can see how I'm straddling my score line here. And then you're just going to give it a good rub. And then it'll close right up. So here is the card finished. It says miss you already. And we have this window of the airplane looking out over some mountains. And then we open it up. And it says safe travels my friend. I just think this is so stinking adorable guys. I love how our little airplane turned out. And our little animals in here. I just think that's cute. And then... Our banner that we can do here and then I just added some uh, clouds on to the card kind of kept it simple this week and then of course on the back we have a place where we can write a message and I just utilized some extra clouds that I had and this was cut out when I cut out one of the rings so I kept that to write a message on so we can just repurpose that and yeah, I'm really, I love it guys. I love, love, love how this turned out. One airplane asked the other airplane, where should we go on vacation? And the other airplane said, I don't know. Let's just wing it. <laughs> guys, I want to thank you so, so much for stopping by and crafting with me. Don't forget to stop by next week to see what's popping and dropping. Bye.